Hello, hello, welcome back. This time I'm in the North Cascades area. Um, a little road trip, camping trip with my friend Mitchell. You might remember him from a recent Olympic Peninsula trip. Just us two this time though. And uh, we got here yesterday and uh, did a little hike, got dinner, didn't film any of it. But today we're exploring around and just driving up some random dirt roads. Got some more concrete plans for sunset, a bigger hike, but we're just kind of exploring for now. And I uh, saw this nice little creek on the way up, so stopped and uh, see if we can get some pictures here. All right, we're making lunch because we got we got time. The weather's looking a little bit, a little bit ominous, but I don't think we get too much rain. But we got the awning set up either way. So today, in Brian's camp kitchen, we are making what's it called? Where's my phone? We're making a. Can you remember the name? Well, I mean, I know it's Brussels sprouts, but I want to know the official name. <laughs> uh, I don't. I don't have it. We're making. Uh, we'll make up a name. It's, I think, crispy gnocchi with roasted Brussels sprouts and a brown butter reduction sauce. Something like that. It's very good. It's very good. So I've got sous chef Mitchell here on the, on the sous chef and, <laughs> and uh, yeah, should be good. It is um, foggy here, but we're headed out to do the sock mountain hike. Like 3.8 miles, 1150 feet of elevation gain. That's a really cute bathroom, look at this. But yeah, we're just going to hike up to the fog and hope that the fog clears, or even if it doesn't, this is stunning. Hmm, good to be back in the Cascades. Otherworldly. Okay, yeah, go ahead and walk towards me. Fog's getting thicker too. Those are good. Really like that. It's perfect. I'm definitely glad that I started with the jacket. Just love the fog. <sighs> Minimalist heaven up here. I think 
I got a good couple good shots already, but I'm excited to see what else we see kind of cresting the, the ridge line up here in a sec. It's chillier today. Yesterday I was drenched in sweat on a hike. I don't know if you can see that, but this Peak Finder app shows what the, basically what the view would look like. All of those mountains there, all the way over to the Olympic Peninsula. And, uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, I love the fog, but I'm also curious to see what that would look like. See this spider web? It's covered in dew. Right here. Interestingly, I'm finding myself shooting a little bit wider than I normally do. I think uh, the the fog just is adding some depth, and I feel like a lot of times when I'm shooting wide, it doesn't come across, or it's it's harder to get the more like minimal compositions, um, which is why I tend to gravitate towards the longer focal lengths, but the fog just helps simplify everything tremendously. Oh man, this is the most we've seen the fog clearing since we started the hike. That's beautiful. So much for the fog clearing. <laughs> for like five minutes. That's pretty cool. Okay, we got like four hours. So. Yeah, we got, we still got some time. It looks pretty dark out here. It feels like it's almost, almost dusk. It's 5.50 and sunsets at like 9.15. So we got more than three hours left of light. Just a thick fog. Almost to the top of the switchbacks. Yeah. Um, we made it to the top of the pass, kind of, and um, I think you can probably see that trail going down. That goes to a lake that we were initially thinking about doing. But we're gonna keep going up that way to the top of Sock Mountain, which isn't that much further. So cool here, though. What do you think? It's a good little spot. If the uh, if the fog keeps clearing, which it, there's some oh, patches yeah. open in that. It, so. It's open in there. That might be the lake. Oh, there might be a patch of snow, actually. Can't tell. Really cool. There's two marmots up here, so we're going to switch on to the wildlife lenses. At least the ones that we brought. Did you just bring the 7 to 200? Yeah, just the 7 to 200. Sorry, they're pretty close. They're kind of big marmots too. Maybe that'll be enough. Just remember, they're more scared of you than you are of them. These guys, these guys have clearly seen humans before. I mean, it's a popular trail, but they're not afraid of us. Kind of feel like an idiot, but I just switched back on the 24 to 105 and noticed that I had a polarizer on from yesterday. I've been shooting with the polarizer this whole time and I didn't even know it. Which basically means that all of the vertical shots are going to be polarized and the horizontal ones won't, or vice versa, I don't know. It's kind of embarrassing. Makes for a good giggle though. <laughs> I enjoyed it. Yeah, and uh, at least it's not like a blue sky day. It's not gonna, it'll be fine. But I was shooting a, a few stops darker than I needed to be, ISO wise. That's all right. Oh, look, the sun. I mean, kind of.
You see the pika? Oh, it's not a pika. Oh my god. Maybe we were hearing the pika and that's something else. Oh, it's chasing Oh my it. god. It's all on you. I don't have the wildlife lens out. Mm. What was that? Like a ermine? It's a pine marten. Oh, you're right. So cool. I feel like Morton Helmer over here. Oh, that was so cool. I think I got a couple shots of the pika. And uh, I didn't get any of the weaselly thing. <laughs> Ermine, weasel, whatever it was, I don't know. But I think Mitchell got a couple. Um, I will link to his Instagram page and website down below so you can check out his stuff. And I think he's going to have a vlog from this trip as well. Uh, or at least maybe some vlog footage from this trip. We shall see. But yeah, go check out his stuff. All right, we made it to the top. Still completely socked in, but we got some time. What time is it? 7.15, two hours till sunset. We'll hang up here for a little bit. If it's completely socked in the whole time, I don't know if we'll stay all the way until sunset, because that means we're hiking down in the pitch dark, but we'll give it a chance. It's looking very very unlikely that these clouds are going to clear. We decided not to not to wait up here for a couple hours um, risking it. We also decided that if we head to back now there's a decent chance that we can get dinner and a beer. If we wait then we definitely can't because everything will be closed. So we're doing that. Um, unfortunately no view today. We'll just have to look at the clouds and probably come back another time. This was an incredible hike. Mm -hmm.